All right, what'd you think of him? I thought he was really great. Surprised you, huh? It, it was great to see him know him from TV and to see him in person. Yeah. Just, How know. strong a man is he? He's incredible. Yeah. He's incredible. See? All the stuff that the, 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 the shine and sweetness and the sweet talk that we get from the Democrats. Yeah. What a difference. This is a man that can't walk and he's stronger than them. Absolutely. Okay. All right. And this is your first time? This is the first time I've seen Mr. Krauthammer and this is my son Michael and I'm continually apologizing him for the country we're leaving him. But after seeing Charles' speech, I'm starting to have some hope. I think there's always hope in the resilience of the American people. Okay, what do you think? It was fabulous. Uh, told it like it was and frightening. Frightening, yes. Yes. Did he, did, he, did he frighten you a little bit, Chris? The amazing truths that he came out? I know, yeah. Instead of being conned on, on TV like we are so often. He's actually funny. Yes, he is. He's hysterical. There's a lady over here. This place was just absolutely fabulous and he had a lot of great things to say. Um, you know, I know my father loves him. He's just great event, great event. It could be more exciting. Thank you. Four years, I can honestly say, for all the big speakers we've had, this is truly the pinnacle of the college of the year. It's humbling to realize that every night 20 million people are watching you between their feet. So I'm not going to know that I need to do a lot of it. Take me to your home. The truth you told, I'm happy to be anywhere where one way you just can't interrupt it. Charles and I managed to things that matter as they were flying off the shelves and nobody has any idea why. <laughs> the last time I got home on the <laughs> So ladies and gentlemen, only 21 months to go. Oh my God, he's got 21 months left. Good, I got to ask her what she thought. What'd you think? I thought it was very well written and you know, delivered. I thought this speech was great. Isn't it amazing? A great man. He, he's, he's just in a wheelchair. And he's helping to save our country from a wheelchair. How great a man is he? At least I'm thinking about himself. Which is nice. He's not, you know, he's very open-minded. He's very educated. I like the way he speaks. Oh, yeah. I think he will get puzzled. He looks over and says, feeling a bit standoffish today, are you, Winston? Churchill looks back and says, not at all, my dear friend. It's just that every time you see something large, you want to nationalize it. <laughs> of the American people. You know, the least in America are the best. You betcha. Thank you. All right. What were you guys talking about? You. you. <laughs> what was your first event? She loved it, yes. I, I did. Like when Pat called me to say, guess who's going to be at UMass? I said, you are kidding. I am going. The problem for Obama is that he's in the center right country. And if you look at the gallery, self identification by ideology over the last 30 years, the numbers are fairly stable. 20% of Americans identify themselves as liberal. I'm sure that's not true of this uh, campus, but in the real world, outside, where you don't have to have a visa to get in, it's about 100%. Conservative, about 40%. This is self identification. And uh, moderate about 35 uh, percent, which means that uh, the last five percent have no idea what the hell is going on. <laughs> <laughs> the political party? Yes. 
Who are you and what do you do? I'm the president of the Massachusetts Republican Assembly in the 2nd Congressional District. Oh wow, what do you think? Is this your first time seeing him? In person, yes. Is it wonderful? He was wonderful. Doesn't it excite us? As small as we are in battle, I feel like we're the Minutemen. Only 3% of us and we bring freedom and love back to our country. Absolutely. He is very knowledgeable and his knowledge, sharing it with us, was wonderful. It gave us more knowledge and that helps all of us. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I will be able to make that case. And I'm fairly confident that Hillary Clinton will be a much deeper candidate than Democrats think. Don't you love the way they said last week that there, uh, there is not a shred of evidence to support these charges? Well, of course, that's because they shred it all the way. <laughs> is if and when riots break out from the West, defending the damn city. It is a disgrace the way it apparently was, not 100% sure, but this is what I heard before coming into that. There was an order for the police to stand down on the night of the riot. That's the way we go to riot. And when you get the mayor of the city saying, there are those who came to destroy, and we had to give them space to destroy, you have to ask yourself, uh, who's been running this insane asylum? Or we should stand by and open for it. But there is a fundamental resiliency, a fundamental decency, and a fundamental common sense of the American people, which is the reason that in the end we get it right. As Churchill says, Americans always do the right thing after having tried everything else. <laughs> <laughs> well, we just had six years of trying everything else. And I'm quite convinced we're going to do the right thing. Thank you very much. Thank you all again so much for coming uh, and making this kind of thing really what it is. Uh, I want to thank Dr. Carhamer for coming as well. He was amazing. It was exactly what we expected. So thank you again. Nice shots, too. Okay. Did you guys have a good time? Let the world go forth. appeared at UMass, I received an email from the UMass Republican Club stating that they needed a video of the event. I was honored to be asked. The radio stations, TV stations, and the press would not cover it. So much for the Democratic controlled TV. I got to meet him and present him a Liberty print. Why are Democrats so afraid of a man in a wheelchair? Maybe because he tells the truth.